Hi, welcome back guys. So one of the biggest questions I get asked a lot these days is, hey man, my phone has, my smartphone has three to four cameras. What do I use them for? How do I use them? Now, I will attempt to answer that question for you in a very, very simple manner, right? Nothing technical, just basic knowledge. Now, back in the day from maybe around 2011 to 2015, we started seeing very serious innovation into smartphone cameras. And then coming fast forward to around 2015, 2016 and 2017, we started seeing these very big innovations like starting from the um, iPhone 7 around 2016, 2017, it had dual cameras. And then we saw the Galaxy Note 8 coming in with dual cameras. And then after that time, it has become dual cameras, triple camera, quad cameras, even five cameras it has become the in thing right now. Up to a point where you see smartphones with um, with up to five cameras like the Nokia Pure View, you see smartphones with four cameras like the Galaxy A9 um, 2018 edition and also maybe something like the Huawei P30 Pro also has um, up to four cameras. Now, how then do you use four of these cameras? Can't you do it? I mean, you just, most times you just open the smartphone, uh, the camera of your smartphone and take a picture, right? So what do you need four cameras for? Now, I'm going to explain this to you in a very simple manner. So when you see a, a photographer carrying a normal DSLR camera, other things you're going to see them carry, they're going to carry a bag that has um, different lenses inside the bag. And those different lenses are for different purposes. There's a lens that you attach to the camera that will enable you to take what is called portrait shots. Now for those of you that don't know what portrait shots are, portrait shots are those shots that when you take them, um, the subject is in focus and the background is out of focus. That's what is called portrait shot. And also if you watch most videos on YouTube, um, you're going to see that where the YouTuber is sitting, the background is always blur while the, the foreground or the main subject is always in focus. That is what is called portrait mode. So they have a special lens that is dedicated for portrait shot. And then they also have a special lens that is the, that they want to take what is called wide angle shot. They're going to attach that lens to the camera and it enables them to take wide angle shots. Now they also have a lens that is dedicated to um, what is called ultra wide angle. And so whenever they want to do what is called ultra wide angle shots, they are going to attach those that lens, you know, and the list goes on like that. So when smartphone manufacturers started getting more adventurous into smartphone cameras, they decided to do make our smartphones do what exactly what the DSLR cameras could do. Now this proved the most impossible because why? If they decide to put the kind of lenses that are on the DSLR cameras on our smartphones, the smartphones will almost become too big for a smartphone. I mean like look at the DSLR cameras, they are very big, they are very heavy. So achieving that with a smartphone was, was, was a big headache. Nokia tried to do it with the Nokia Pure View. Um, that phone had this very big bulky um, Kazis camera. I mean, or was it like a lens at the back? And I hated that phone for that reason because it just made the smartphone look have this very funny look and feel, which I didn't like. And uh, a lot of people complained about it. Why Nokia were just trying to be adventurous, they wanted to achieve something, which at the end of the day, I think it backfired. And fast forward to maybe like 2016, 2017, um, we started seeing this these innovations coming to life, like we saw the iPhone 7 coming with dual cameras, we saw the iPhone 8 coming with dual cameras, and then we also saw the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 coming with um, dual cameras. And then fast forward to 2019 now, most almost every phone you see now has like two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, even five cameras, right? Now, see what these cameras do. These cameras are, 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 are trying to um, imitate exactly what the DSLR cameras do. So let's assume that you want to take a portrait shot on your smartphone now. You will actually need another lens that can do um, portrait apart from the main lens. So we have the main lens, which is the usually the, the if you, in, in the ratings in of the megapixels, that one is usually the highest one. Then they now add is if another a first lens or another lens which will enable you. Um, take portrait shots just like when the man that has the DSLR camera wants to take a portrait shot, he will attach a lens that can enable him to do that. So they attach a separate lens on our smartphone that can enable you to take portrait shots. Then 
after that, we got to a point where we say, okay, we want our smartphone to be taking wide. Why wide can't wide can our smartphones take um, wide angle um, shots, just like a DSLR camera? So, smartphone manufacturers started adding a third lens to our smartphone, which enabled uh, the smartphone to take wide angle shots, right? Then, after a while, we're like, hey, why can't we take ultra wide angle shots, just like the man that has the DSLR cameras can do? And the smartphone manufacturers got more, even more adventurous and added a fourth lens that can take um, ultra wide angle shots. And then we got to a point to say, hey, if we use our smartphone, we want to take a picture or a video, when we zoom in too fast, the, 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 the image or the video is shaky. Why can't it be stable like the man that has the DSLR camera? They now decided to add another lens like on the Huawei P30 Pro, which will enable you um, zoom in up to like 50 times in the case of the p30 pro you can do up to 50 times zoom and the image will be stable now on your normal smartphone that does not have that lens that will enable you and um, do what is called optical image stabilization if you stand somewhere and take it and zoom in very far right and zoom into an object from a distance what you will notice is that the image just becomes shaky and it's almost impossible to to, to, to hold them to, to, to take the shot without getting a blurry or a, a, a crazy image and what will even happen is that the image will lose quality from that kind of distance but with this um, special optical image stabilization lens this problem was solved you know you can zoom up to 50 times I mean 50 times zoom is very far so you can zoom up to 50 times and yet you still have um, a stable image and the image will still um, keep the quality that it has you know so um, I mean more and more cameras just keep coming up whatever they just think of that hey this phone can phone camera can do this they are gonna add a new lens so when you notice that's why what you notice is that most phones now have four five lenses like the Huawei P30 Pro has um, four lenses Nokia PureView has five the Galaxy A9 has um, I think it has four and then other devices the Oppos and all those phones they have four lenses, three lenses, four lenses. Infinix S4 has the three lenses. The, Infin the Techno Camon 11 Pro has um, two lenses. So you get to look at all, when you look at all these um, features that we keep demanding on our smartphones, from our smartphones, that's why they keep adding more and more lenses to our smartphones. They even, they, they, in some phones, they even add 3D lenses to them, right? Now, has the addition of all these lenses to our phones make, made any difference? I will actually tell you yes. You know, back in the day when you see people um, traveling, they will always carry a big DSLR camera. Some of them will hang it on their neck or some of them will put it in their bags and put different different lenses inside there. Now, you, you can almost or hardly see people traveling with um, DSLR cameras now. You, whether they are going for camping trips or they are going for, for, for hiking or they are going for adventures. All they just do now is carry their smartphones because the smartphones can actually do what the DSLR cameras can do now. Yes, it might not be 100%, it might be maybe like 50% to 60 The smartphones can do maybe 50 to 60% of what the DSLR cameras can do. But the quality you get is still something you, do, you might not really have to complain about, right? So you see, adding more lenses to your smartphone has made your smartphone cameras even better and stronger than they used to be. So if you have a smartphone that has three, four cameras, you don't really know how to use them. All you can do is you can um, seek for help from maybe a, a sales representative of the manufacturer. Or if you even search on, here on YouTube, you can see different, different videos that um, have um, different, that different videos with instructions on how to use um, those many cameras on your device, right? Because once you want to take a shot, depends on the mode or the kind of shot you want to take, that's what will determine the kind of lens that um, you are going to switch to. So if you take your phone, smartphone and see um, the camera menu, there are a lot of options there. Some of them you are, you're going to see things like AI mode, or you're going to see um, things like ultra wide angle, wide angle. Even though in some smartphones they don't use these terms, they use more advanced terms or they just use them. Um, excuse me, or they just use different logos to, to indicate these things, but you can actually um, ask questions and find out how to use yours, all right? So I would like to know which smartphone you think has the best triple um, or quad core or quad camera setup. Let me know down in the comments, all right? And uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, 
please do so at tech underscore overwatch all right and also um, don't forget to hit the bell icon and turn on um, post notifications all right so until that time i'll see you again in the next video